Hello, my name is Johnny. Welcome to another Marvel Character Talk. Today we're going to have a look through a cool Silver Age Marvel comic from the early 1960s. Some Stan Lee, Jack Kirby, and other goodness. If you'd like, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, reply, and share. Very cool Jack Kirby cover here. Probably Dick Ayer's Inker. Journey in the Mystery 72. Thor would start in... Uh, Issue 83 and 62, so this is going to be 1961. Nice coloring there. 10 Center. MC for Marvel Comics. These fantastic pages, you will meet the glob. I'm not sure if they brought the glob back and it was the same one, but I'm pretty sure they had a, a character called the glob that fought the Hulk. Might be a different one. Look at how cool, leaving some stuff there. Reminds me of uh, Don Blake, sort of right there. I don't think this one is signed. Some nice detail work down here. This one is nice and flat, pretty much. Has some problems, but overall it's in better condition than some I, I, I've bought. But it's very old and brittle. You see it's browned. There's the information. 1961. There's the glob. My very life depended on my learning its fantastic secret. Very nice. Usually it says Stan Lee and Jack or signed, but I don't see that right there. We might see some type of credits as we flip through. We're not going to read it word for word. We're just going to look through and get to some of the other stories too. Reminds me of like uh, Boris and stuff and Latveria and Doctor Doom. Very cool style artwork. Look at that. That looks like the back of Reed Richards' head. That style art. There's the page count there. Be careful trying to get these pages. It's hard to get any of these in super high grade because there's not as many as the monster comics around that were saved than were the superhero ones. Sometimes I see these in the sold section for CGC. A lot of them are in the two point something, three, four something grade. Hardly ever see one that was sent in super high grade. Don't know what this one would be. Maybe it's a three or a four. Who knows? I could just go in by the cover, but. And then the page, this was definitely not off-white to white or white. I don't know if it's cream or if it would even be even darker. Look at them. Very cool. The glob. I don't know why they don't have it. Usually on a lot of these things, the two-part stories, there'd be Stan Lee's stylized uh, signature and Jack Kirby. In the future, I'm going to do uh, I have a larger space, lay out the collection of uh, some of the monster books. I don't have that many, but of uh, Journey in a Mystery, Strange Tales, Tales to Astonish, and a <coughs> Tales of Suspense. Let them go. Ah, crunch hard. I crave food. Yeah, it's a long story for this kind of thing. Because a lot of the other ones were just five pagers. There'll be some other pagers in here. There might be a Ditko story or a Don Heck. I didn't look through it uh, prior to filming this video right now. I only looked through it to uh, a couple of years ago is the last time I probably looked through this one.
These are always kind of expensive to get loose. If I got this at a comic convention, they don't, <coughs> a lot of dealers don't have very many of them. There we go, it was a 13 pagers. And this one was, uh, they said very good, 45 bucks. Ah. Pishin in room 3D. This artwork, I'm not sure. That looks like Ditko right there. You can tell Ditko right away. But this uh, also looks like it could be someone else. Or it's an inker over him. So that looks ditko y too. Maybe it's a different inker on him. Usually Ditko did his inks himself. And they always have a little bit of a twist story. And then what's it say here? Only works on apes. So we had a 13 pager and a 5 pager. They have these what they call text pages. There's two of those. And then here we go. This one uh, definitely a Ditko. He always had his little signature there. Sometimes they'd be the Stan Lee and then Ditko. Will this be the end of the world? And this is written by Stanley. the words. They just don't have it in there. <clears throat> I should say script by, because they talk about the Marvel way Dicko would do everything, and then uh, Stan would fill in the... Where you want to put word balloons and words. Now look at that. This is like Twilight Zone time and so forth. So it was that editor's note? No, we can't explain it any more than you can. It's the way it is told to us and made us sit back and wonder just as you too will wonder. Cool. It's slightly different ads here before they got to the comic. Uh, 62 year. Here's the back. Always featuring that. Like I said, not too bad for that. And a great Kirby cover. I keep it in a uh, you know, mylar. I might send these in someday. And then some of the other ones uh, to have them uh, slabbed to protect them. Looks pretty nice. And I'm sure they've collected these stories in other uh, omnibuses and trade paperbacks over time. I have a book I think I did a video of. If I can remember it, I'll leave it at the end or else I'll give another uh, this type of story at the end where they reprinted and talked about some of the early monster fantasy uh, comics that they did in the early 60s right before they switched over with Fantastic Four and Thor and Iron Man and Hank Pym, Ant-Man and so forth. Till next time, more Marvel character talks. Thanks for taking a look through this comic with me.